Hello, good evening, everybody. It is Brian here. Uh, this is what Brian thinks adventures. Happy late Wednesday night, July 13th, and as well as uh, early next day, Thursday, July 14th of 2022. It is Brian here of This Is What Brian Thinks Adventures. I would like to say I'm here to provide a mid-July 2022 update to provide of the wonderful, exciting news, what's going on with me. And I'm also wanting to let you know what is also um, going on with me this month. So I'm going to provide with some excellent details and also <clears throat> tell each and every one of you of all the positive things, what's going on with me. And also um, give you all a heads up what um, I'm about to announce as well. So I hope you all can listen to my wonderful news for this mid-July 2022 update. So here it goes, everyone. For those who would like to know, um, yesterday afternoon... I just got off the phone with uh, Safeway Garno uh, on the south side. That is three blocks from our place of the south side, Old Strathcona. So their manager is going to be calling me in the upcoming next week to schedule me for an interview. So I'm very excited to pass on this announcement as well since I have recently dropped off my resume um, eight and uh, a half days ago, almost nine days ago, that I recently dropped off my resume and my application to Safeway Garno near my place on the south side of Old Strathcona. Likewise, um, I'm also wanting to let, you, uh, let each and every one of you know that last week I have submitted my resume to the um, Landmark Theatres 9 and the um, the Barricade uh, uh, the Landmark Theatres 9 Edmonton City Centre downtown as well as the uh, Barricade the White Avenue Old Strathcona location on the south side that's very proximity close to my place so I, I'm still waiting to hear uh, a very excellent response as well Yesterday, I also um, I also want to tell each and every one of you is that I recently dropped off my resume uh, yesterday afternoon at the Buckingham at the at the Buckingham uh, Bar Pub on the south side of Old Strathcona. So I hope to uh, get a wonderful phone call from their um, manager as well. And likewise, I just wanted to let every one of you know, I'm still um, listening to hear a response from the uh, Blues on White, the commercial hotel, where I dropped off my resume two weeks ago. So I'm still listening to hear a phone call from the hire hiring manager there. In fact, um, uh, two weeks ago, on last week of June, uh, uh, June 29th, two weeks ago, last Wednesday, I recently dropped off my resume uh, I, on the last Monday of June, and then I received a phone call from the um, the store manager uh, from uh, H-Mart Asian Grocery Store in South Park Center, and I was scheduled for a job interview, so, and I haven't heard any phone calls yet, but about the... Um, about the candidates too and see if the manager has made that decision if they're going to take me or not. But I have been trying very hard to look at other job places that's um, near my place where it's very proximity and also looking at other job places that's not working at West Edmonton Mall and not working at Southgate Mall all the time anymore because the malls are uh, a lot of work and I can't deal with that anymore. So this is why I made a very wise and very understanding decision for me to move on to something else that allows my school 
And likewise, I'm also very excited, very thrilled to announce that a couple days ago, on Monday, almost two, three, um, two, three, uh, four days ago, my mom, my stepdad, uh, Neil and I, we saw the new Marvel movie of Thor Love and Thunder at Landmark Theaters 9 Edmonton City Center downtown. It was a very excellent movie, and I'm also very pleased to announce, um, to let each and every one of you know, on the second... Three, um, two half days ago, on Monday, on my way to a movie, I recently dropped off my resume at the Courtyard Marriott downtown a few days ago. And, in fact, I just um, submitted, um, submitted my resume at the, for um, a door attendant position with uh, Marriott Online last weekend so I'm also waiting to hear a response from their manager as well so and likewise I'm also very thrilled to let you know is that I have recently dropped off my resume at um, Spirit Relief Edmonton uh, by outside Garnell Professional Building as well as the Prairie Records the cannabis shop uh, campus Tower by University of Alberta, not far from the University LRT station. That's also on the south side, not far from here as well. And I hope to hear a phone call from their manager. And likewise, I'm very excited to hear a phone call response from the um, Safeway Garno in the upcoming next week as well. So hopefully they'll call me for an interview as well. And likewise, um, I'm also getting things turn around between this summer, so over the middle of this July, uh, as well as over next month of August before I start going back to school at Nate this September, this September uh, start of next year for the 2023, um, I, for the 2022-2023 semester term at the end of summer holidays in the fall of this uh, next September coming up after this summer. So after the middle of this July and after next month of this August. So I'm very excited for that as well. And in fact, um, I would like to tell each and every one of you is that I was also interviewed with um, Global News Edmonton at the Interna International Street Performance Festival in Sir Winston Churchill Square downtown um, uh, last week on the first day. So if, for those who would like to know, I was interviewed with them as well. And I'm also very excited to start turning things around, not just um, between the middle of this July, but between the last two weeks of this July and over next month of August, the last month of this summer, as well as getting things back on track before us well as after I start going back to school, focusing on Adobe Photoshop course level two at my campus at Nate at the beginning of the new fall semester in September as well. In fact, I'm also going to be looking at um, into Illustrator Adobe course level two as well as Acrobat Adobe course level two uh, during the fall term. So sometime in the next uh, upcoming October, November and December before and after next winter holiday season, as well as um, getting into the Adobe Photoshop course level three in the start of uh, either this upcoming January, February, or March of 2023. So that's going to be plenty of time before this next summer of next year. So for those who would like to know is that I'm holding off my Calgary Stampede trip to go to Calgary for Stampede this summer till... Uh, 52 weeks from this year till a year from now, 365 days till I get to go for Calgary Stampede in the upcoming next summer in 2023. Now, those who would like to know is that um, 
I'm very thrilled to tell each and every one of you is that this Saturday, my mom and I, we're going to be seeing the new Cirque du Soleil at Rogers Place, Ice District Plaza downtown in a couple days from now. So I'm, uh, we got tickets already too. And I'm also going to forward the dates for the Edmonton Comic Con Comic Expo that is coming up the middle of September between September 16th, 17th and 18th at the end of summer holidays after the summer in the upcoming early in the fall in mid-September after summer holidays after the summer is over. So a lot of positive things to look forward to as well. In fact, right now I've been doing what needs to be very responsible is that I have held off my Calgary Stampede trip for the third straight summer. So I'm looking forward to getting that back on track this upcoming summer up next to line next year of 2023. I'm also looking forward to going to K days again later on in the, um, later on this July between the last week of this July and also looking forward to going to Heritage Day Heritage Festival um, between the end of July and the beginning of early August of um, later on this summer and also um, what my mom has said earlier there could be a possibility I may travel down to Calgary for a day or two or one day or two days later on this summer between either the end of um, either the either the last two weeks of July or sometime in the month of August or sometime after summer holidays in the early fall of September or sometime in October I depending what my new work availability is like and depending as well as depending what my school post-secondary schedule is like too so but yes for those who would like to know is that I was just reviewing some of my uh, YouTube vlogs from my uh, last um, Calgary trip from three years ago in 2019 where I got to um, where I did some elevator film, uh, filming as well as various public transit systems filming of the Calgary Transit's Nova buses, new flyers, C train LRT trains, including um, some of the elevators in the downtown as well as the one of them at Eau Claire Market in the Eau Claire near um, Ball River. In fact, I'm also wanting to let each and every one of you know is that I'm looking forward to getting things back on track. In fact, at the beginning of this August, um, after the um, August long weekend, Heritage Day long weekend, at the um, beginning of August, my mom and I, on August 2nd of this summer, we're going to get me signed up for Special Olympics bowling for me to get on to at the end of this summer and the fall of this September, once um, the summer is over and after summer holidays is over. In fact, I'm very glad and very happy to say is that I've made the right decision to hold off my Calgary Stampede trip until July next year of 2023 because it's been very struggling for me to look at other job places, but you know what? I would like to tell you that I have been trying very hard and I'm looking forward to getting things back on track. In fact, in between my new work schedule as well as my school post-secondary schedule, I will certainly get a chance to get my Hamilton Toronto trip um, back on schedule too. I've been um, rescheduling for the last while too and I'm actually still rescheduling at this time just depending what my new work availability is like so that's why i've been i'm holding off my vacation trips for calgary stampede this summer till july next summer of 2023 as well as uh the following summers of july 2024 including um the upcoming summer of july 2025 three years from now as well as beyond down the road in the future so Right now, it's just that I'm temporarily holding off my Calgary Stampede trip to attend the Calgary Stampede for a third straight year. So I know it is disappointing that 
I'm not able to make my way for Calgary Stampede right now, but you know what? I'm doing what is very responsible is that I'm staying away from the Stampede until July of next year temporarily, so it, it's been very struggling for me, but you know what? I have been trying very hard, and yes, I'm very excited to get a wonderful phone call from Safeway at the Garnell location, not far from our place, and this upcoming next week's for a job interview. So, everyone, I hope you all can wish me luck on that one. In fact, on the positive note, I would like to tell each and every one of you, every one of my friends of my old teachers, who I had in L.Y. Karen's a long time ago, would be very proud of all the hard work of all the very responsible and very wise decisions I've been making, looking at other job places near our place, as well as um, making my amazing YouTube videos of my various ETS bus videos, Strathcona County, Calgary Transit, random elevators of all kinds, DJs, and also most of all, on my travels to Hamilton, my old place in Ontario, as well as um, where I get a chance to take the HSR up and down the mountain myself um, on visits where I go along the same familiar bus routes where my mom and I used to go to in the past, as well as um, using the using the HSR and the GO Transit and in Hamilton, my old place in Ontario on visits, as well as water down, including taking the GO bus and GO train on our Lakeshore West Line route on the GO Transit in the Greater Toronto Hamilton areas, as well as using my Presto card as I go along nowadays, especially taking um using the bus on Oakville Transit by Oakville Station in Oakville. I love taking the GO train eastbound, westbound through whenever I go to and from Union Station myself in Toronto on visits, as well as um taking the subway taking the subway at Union Station to St. George Station on our Young University Spadina line along um Blue or Young Station, College, Wellesley Dundas, Queen, King Stations on our Young Street line, and the same places between um, St. George Station and Union Station I love going northbound to. Whenever I go northbound from Union Station is through, um, as always, on our University line, St. Andrew Station, Osgood Station, St. Patrick Station, Queen's Park Station, Museum Station, and then I arrive northbound at St. George Station where I get a chance to take the subway uh, not just uh, Bloor Young Station, but between Bay Station, St. George Station, and between Dufferin Station, I also go to visit Ossington Station, where I used to go to with my Auntie Paula, my mom, and where I used to take my grandma when I was very young, a very long time ago, along through Christie Station, Bathurst, and Spadina Station, the same places I love taking my subway trips to. As well as, um, I always follow the same rules, watching out for myself and other people, and always making a very responsible difference. And that's the very responsible thing to do, and a very smart and very wise thing, is that I always stay against the walls, stay in the middle of the platform, behind the yellow lines, away from the tracks, to allow the subway to come and go at the same time, and making very smart and very common sensible decisions has always been the same. And most of all, before I go, I'm also very excited to give you all a heads up is that I'm looking forward to getting my stuff back on track. And I look forward to telling you about my amazing new job and about the amazing new opportunities. So I'm looking forward to this wonderful transition between now and and between the mid-July as well as the last two weeks of this July and over next month of August, before I go back to school at the end of summer holidays this September, before and after Labor Day, uh, September long weekend. So lots of positive things to look forward to. And I'm looking forward to resuming things back on track um, during this summer, between a month and a half of this July as well as next month of August. 
and at the beginning of September before and after Labor Day, September long weekend as well. And I want to say, YouTubers, thank you for this mid-July 2022 update, July 14th of 2022. I hope you have yourselves a safe night, a safe good night, late night, Wednesday night, July 13th, and early next day, July 14th of 2022. Stay safe, everyone. Good night.